Hello A&P1 students, this is Dr. Grenye and uh, I'm trying to go through some of these models for connective tissues. I realize that we need to uh, have some additional resources because of the weather and some other things that are preventing us from having all of our lab time available. So what I'm showing you here is our model for compact bone. All right. Compact bone, spongy bone, this is one of our connective tissues that are known as our specialized connective tissues. For connective tissues, there is going to be, unlike epithelial, a large amount of non-living material and living cell material intermixing. Okay, so when we look at this model, and if we can get a little closer, Okay, the, the extracellular matrix in bone is going to be solid. And we are going to see that the cells are going to be these little, it almost looks like daddy long legs or little insects living in between the matrix. All right. Uh, for our compact bone, we are going to see the functional unit or the circular patterns of our extracellular solid matrix and then our cells trapped in between. And this functional unit is known as our osteon. Okay? And in some ways it looks like a tree stump. Okay? Um, for the bone here, we are going to see that the osteons are going to have some blood vessels that are pushing through the center. These are going to be our central canals. And then if we look on the side here, there are going to be some blood vessels that push through to kind of give us that uh, transverse kind of ability to get into the center area. And those are going to be our um, uh, perfora perf perforating or our... Um, again our horizontal vessels okay now most of our bone is going to be a mix of areas with compact bone and then there's going to be some areas where we're going to see more open space and this is going to be what's known as our spongy bone or trabecular bone and that's kind of shown here where the little areas of bone matrix and bone cells are kind of appearing as like two by fours or, or columns and they're helping to hold up the maybe overall structure but they have space in between them and that space in between them becomes our bone marrow okay now these trabecular spongy bone areas these are not full circles they're not as well um, organized with a central canal so we are not going to call them osteons so this is not an osteon all right and we see that there's still that bone matrix arranged in a pattern with our bone cells uh, our osteocytes trapped within okay so at this point I want you to know for this is a connective tissue this is one of our specialized connective tissues it has an extracellular matrix that is solid the matrix is made up of calcium and phosphate crystals along with some collagen proteins and it gets there because these osteocytes these bone cells are going to secrete the um, calcium and the phosphate so it can form the crystals outside in the extracellular area and are going to create the collagen and put it in that extracellular area so bone does have a little bit of bend okay the bone is usually going to have areas where it's compact with its functional unit the osteon and then it'll have more of like a tent you know with some tent poles holding up things but that open space is going to get filled with bone marrow and depending upon where we are in a bone that bone marrow could be full of fat so we'll give it the name yellow bone marrow or it could be full of our stem cells giving rise to our blood which would then be red bone marrow 
okay? We're gonna go over this molecule when we get to our bone chapter and we're gonna go into more details of what we call all of the extracellular matrix rings, what we call this borderline area um, that's actually going to then be what ligaments and tendons and things connect into and we'll go into again where in certain bones we have the compact and the trabecular or spongy bone. But for right now, when you look at this model, that's what you want to see. You want to see spongy versus compact. You want to see the osteocytes. You want to see the osteons. Uh, you can't quite see it at this level, but in our pictures, you want to go that deeper level and know that the cells need to reside in a watery environment. So they are going to reside in these little chambers known as lacunae. All right, so that is our connective tissue model of bone.